hope everybody's doing well. I uh, hope everybody's uh, keeping their sanity right now. It's a um, very trying, very trying time. So I just, um, you know, hope that everybody's doing good. Uh, I did an unboxing on the Your Creative Studio, um, I don't know, a week or so ago, a couple weeks ago. And um, Barbara over at 49 Dragonflies here on YouTube. Uh, got a hold of me to kind of see if we wanted to do a collaboration together using some of the pro uh, products from the box. And I said, sure. So I'm going to be collaging uh, some some uh, pages for a journal that I'm going to be working on over the next, you know, several weeks. So I'm going to collage about three pages is what I'm going to do using um, the things that came out of the subscription box. Um, if you haven't seen that, the, the March box was simply amazing. I loved every everything that came in that box. Um, but I plan on using um, some of these pieces right here. Um, and that is from your creative studio, Amanda. Um, very, very sweet. Um, with these um, subscription boxes. She does a really good job. And... Um, so I, I'm, I plan on using um, some of these. These were just, um, this is what it looked like. It was Nordic round draw. But anyway, I'm going to be using those. Now I have, I did tea stain all my pieces. Um, these were just some of the little ephemera pieces in it. And then it had some bigger um, ephemera pieces in it. And um, it had this pad right here. Now these aren't stickers or anything. These are just uh, tear off, tear off sheets. I plan to use some of this masking tape here. Uh, some of the little receipt book here, and then some of the papers I plan on using from the uh, from the subscription box. It'll be just kind of a, like a little craft with me. And so, um, anyway, Barbara had asked me if I wanted to do a little collab with her. And I'm going to put her link to her video where she is doing her little craft with me uh, using these uh, products. And then um, you can go over there and watch her video as well. And um, anyway, it'll be fun. It'd just be fun. And we all need something fun right now anyway. Uh, a little bit of fun crafting. So I'm also going to be using some other pieces like Tim Holtz. I'm going to be using some of these photo booths. But, but anyway, I'll get on into that uh, in the video. But anyway, guys, let's jump into it. Okay, so I got the box put out of the way, and I'm going to kind of just show you. Uh, I'm going to be working on some journal pages, and I've kind of got a journal put together. Of course, no cover, just the rough base. And I'm going to collage on three of my pages. Um, here are a lot of pieces that I just <clears throat> tea stained. I've got some of the little vellum pieces tea stained. Um, that doesn't go in there, but here are some of those little... Uh, little pieces here. I've even tea stained the little uh, sticky masking tape there. So that is what I'm going to play with. Here are some of the ephemera pieces. Um, I stained the little ticket sheet there that was in there. So anyway, I'm just I've just got some pieces I can play with. Here's another little. Uh, here was some of the paper that was at the bottom that I have also tea stained I plan to play with. So anyway, I've just got a lot of variety set in here that I can. Uh, this was some of the little transfer tickets here that was in the uh, kit this month. And then here is some of the ephemera sheets and they are just all tea stained. So I've got that. I've just got a variety set in there that I can use. When I collage, I like to kind of get my what I plan on using together. So those are going to be the pieces from the kit. Then I'm going to add a few oh, bits here and there. There's some of that I'll probably be maybe using. They're just stuck out in case I in case I want to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and get those spread out here. 
uh, my photos or my images are actually I'm going to use the photo booth Tim Holtz photo booth I've got tons of these and so um, I decided I was going to use some of those I had thought about the paper dolls and then I just decided to uh, go a different route um, I have lots of these and I just don't hardly use them very often then I've got maybe some vintage tickets and things that I've picked up along the way. I may use some of that for the collage. Okay, so that looks like um, I am going to use the old book page as my base on the three on the three uh, pages. So it's going to, what I was going for was I wanted to use the book page kind of like the, um, oh, the uh, Somerset Studio Inspiration book page one that I did the journal out of. That's kind of what I was thinking. I wanted to use the book page again as a base. So I know that I'm going to decorate my first page in my journal. So I'm going to do this page right here. And I know that I want to use, of course, the book page. So I'm going to go ahead and I want that book page to be, uh, to fill up most of the page. So, get me some glue here. And I'm not going to glue this heavily because, oops, I just want it to just, um, if it has a little loose pieces here and there, I'm alright with that. That's kind of what I like sometimes. Especially when you're using the vintage, you know, you're, you're going for the vintage, the vintage look. So I'm just going to be tearing pieces here and there. Oh, that's kind of cool on the back side. But I think, I think I'm going to use that way. Okay, I'm just... Uh, now that is a piece of paper that was out of the uh, the kit or the box. And see, I want to rip that a little bit. I want that to just be okay. And I may use the whole strip now. see here I think I want to want something these are really brittle they're just super super brittle so I think I'm gonna want some of that book page showing I want some of that some of the book page to show so I'm gonna have to rearrange a little bit here I can go either way on this one because my numbers are going one way and those are going the other so it's you can just kind of place it however you like on that let's see here yeah I think I like that I like that real well and then I also just pre-sewed some of these little strips here so that I wouldn't have to uh, sew on the machine. I had been doing that just a little bit. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I think this is a nice collage here. I like that real well. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing everything down. I'm going to go ahead and get this attached a little bit. I can always glue it on down. As I go, I like to just get them a little attached so that I can, and I may distress around that a little bit. I've had these photo booth uh, things forever, and then when he come out with the new ones, I believe I bought a box of the new ones, a package of the new ones, 
And these may be the new ones, I don't know. I'm just taking my scissors and just kind of roughing up my edge here on this photo. I want it to be a little rough. Okay. And I wanted that photo just kind of see I think I wanted it further down. Yeah, maybe like that. So I'm just roughing rough you know, just roughly uh gluing here. I'll glue a little bit better as soon as I kinda get it get it all together. I'll give it a better Okay. Got that a little crooked, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to get it off to to redo it. I don't know that I'm going to be able to, but We'll have to deal with that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a, just go ahead and give it a, the rest of the way glued. And that, I wanted my chapter showing. I don't mind the roughness of it. That that just adds to the vintage, the vintage flair to me. All right, so there is my first little collage, and then I could always, you know, add something a little more here, or even add some little vintage lace, which I didn't get no laces set out. Let me see if I can find something. Let's see if I can find something here. I may want a little bit of lace put down. And I may even get a little vintage button. I kind of like that, so I may do that. Just add a little more contrast to it. I hope everybody's been staying in. It's so hard, so hard to keep yourself indoors right now. Um, especially when you're used to really going a lot of places uh, every weekend, hitting the flea markets or, uh, you know, different things that were going on. It's very hard to stay in one spot. Okay, I'm ready for life to get back to a normal. Alright, so I like that. So there is my collage there. There is one page. And I like to do my pages as I go. Um, before I actually in, uh, sew my book uh, in the cover. I like to make sure that... Um, I have my pages the way I, I want them and decorated first. Okay, so that's going to make a nice first cover. So there's one collage. And then I believe I'm going to put another, let's see, I'm going to spread the book pages out a little bit because I'll, I'll do other decorations in the book as well. But, um... Let's see, this will probably be the next, the next page that I do right here. Okay, so let's start by getting our next book. I think I want to use this one. I don't, I don't, I didn't do that. I'm not sure what that is. It's just the age, I guess. I didn't really tea stain that, so. Okay, so let's, uh, let's 
Let's see here. I know I want to use one of these. This one here I may go on this side. And I'm wondering if I don't want to use a whole strip, which I think I may. So gonna rough up the I didn't grab everything I needed, so I'm just gonna use the edge of my scissors to to rough that with. Okay, and then I want to use a little distress ink. Okay. Okay, so let's do a little bit of that right there. Try to keep the chapter up there is what I want to try to keep as much as possible. And let's see here. Just more of that paper that was in the kit. You know what, I may want that to go something like that. Okay, I'm needing something else, I'm not sure here. <clears throat> when you're collaging, there is just so many possibilities uh, to go with. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and get this glued down like I did the last one. Go ahead and just get that good and glued down. Okay. So I'm going to go something like that. Okay, I'm going to do something a little different here. Gonna go a little different here. And then I think I'm gonna try to go with a little bit of Sew these on these little strips and then I can kind of tear them if I want them a little thinner than what I've made them. Okay, I need something right here.
Okay, so I think I'm going to go something to this effect. And I think I'm also going to get some vintage buttons put on there. So, yes, I think it's going to be something. So anyway, guys, I've spent so much time trying to rearrange this. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and glue it down. And then we'll come back and, and see it and then start on another page. Okay, so I got it kind of glued down, and then I was debating whether I wanted to uh, have this vintage button. I simply just took a little black thread and run it through there so it would have a little black thread in it. And then I got to thinking I might want one of these tickets um, here as well, just to kind of give it that little piece of extra. And I think I like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to add that. And then, let's see, I'm not sure I wanted that over that or under that. So I'm going to pick that up a little bit for a minute. Here to... I'm thinking I want this if I can. I don't know if I have it all glued down. I'm thinking I may want that over that. Yeah, okay. So I think I like the ticket. I don't think I'm going to put the button on this one. I was just debating, you know, kind of where I'd even put it. But I think, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that's enough collage for one page. Okay, and I really like these little vellum. This, this is super cute, that little booklet of vellum ephemera. Okay, so I think that's going to be enough collage for that page. Um, so let's put it back here where it belongs. Let's see. I'm thinking I should have had another sheet in here. Oh, well, I'll do that later. Up oh, there it was. I was going to say, I knew I, I usually try to put a, a nice uh, uh, flat one and not crinkly in that center where the you know center of the signature is okay so I think my next collage I'm gonna put right here the book page collage and that'll be kind of evenly spaced out okay so I'm gonna get my next little book page here and go ahead and get it glued down Okay, let's get that glued down. Okay. Now this one here, I really like that side of the page. I'm trying to debate whether I want that. See, I don't want a little bit of my black. I really like this. See, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm just gonna go under it this time. I think I'm gonna kind of just build a small collage there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so, see, I want to get me another little image here. Let's rough up the edges. Okay, let's ink it up. <coughs> I want to, I don't want to do as big a collage on this one. Let's see, this is some more of that ephemera 
sheet from the uh, subscription box. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go easy on this one and not do quite so much collaging. Okay. I am going to use one of these little tickets on this. I'm going to use one of those vintage vintage pieces there. Let's see what else I've got here. Let's see, it's awful big. I may downsize here a little bit. Here's a dairy little cap, bottle cap, or carton top, whatever they called those, or I can do this. So I'll put these two here. Okay, so I know that I'm going to go somewhere in that route like that. Yeah, I think that's the way I like that. And then I know that this will go somewhere like that. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this one pretty simple. Okay, so I, th I really like the way that looks. So, oh, and on my last page, I did add some of the age tape as well um, after I got it glued down. Okay, I really like that the way it looks right there so I'm going to go ahead now this was sticky and it is sticky but when I put the tea dye on it I took some of the stickiness off of that because of the you know it just being wet but it still is sticky so let's go ahead and get some of this tacked down Something like that. I might bring this down just a hair. Okay. And I'm going to add that right there. And it will just be a nice, simple, simple collage. Is what it will be. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and tack that all down. And this will be the last collage. I may edit a little bit of this video and try to get it uh, around 30 minutes. So I'm not sure how long I've been at it right now, but I will try to edit it and get the get the time decent on it. Okay, so I've got that pretty much where I want it. I might add a little something up here. I will probably add something to tie that a little bit together there. But I need to add something a little bit right up there. Let me get something to connect the two. No, I don't like that. That might be kind of where I put a little button. Yeah, that just kind of ties it, ties it together. I'm going to go ahead and get 
go ahead and get that maybe put like so and then I'm going to actually put that there just to give it a little you know bring it in together see I want to use my Fabri-Tac on this vintage button for sure and I believe it will just go right there okay I'm pretty happy with this collage it's just not too much and since I did so much on the others this one here is just a little more simpler simpler collage a little more all right guys that's the third one and um, anyway I hope you kind of like the um, little collage uh, kind of tutorial using these little um, subscription box pieces uh, they're a ton of fun I knew when this March box came and I saw what was in it uh, with all these little ephemera pieces that it would just be a fantastic one um, you know to just do a lot of collaging with so anyway I hope that you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next video stay safe everybody